Hey guys, I'm comedian Haley Boyle and I am thrashed. Holy shit, the last couple days have been pretty rough. Um, but I think I've actually done a really good job of managing them. Just a little bong, no big whoop. Um, as rough as they were for me, um, the baby definitely had minimal impact. I definitely lost my temper a couple of times, but like, you know, nothing crazy. Um, we had a lot of fun. His drum set came, he did a lot of crazy things outside. I pulled out all my winter clothes and let him play dress up, blah, blah, blah. I'm doing good. I'm doing good, but it's been a bit of a struggle, um, as evidenced by the fact that I did text my big ex tonight, um, although it's not what you think. Um, <laughs> I wasn't like, oh, hey, like, you know, what's up? Come quarantine with us. Um, it's just that the last few days, what I've been thinking about a lot is, um, well, me, as always. I'm sorry, I'm so fucking tired. Holy shit. But I, I just, there's no breaks now at all. You know, he's not going to daycare or anything like that. So it's just 24-7 mom time around the clock. Um, any hoodle. I texted him because I've been thinking about him and not like a, I want to get back together with him thinking about him. But I, I mean, there'll always be that part of me that's like, I wish he would just like change into the person that I need him to be <laughs> so I could be with him. But, um, you know, thinking about the when we had like a blizzard and how terrible he was at getting groceries for being snowed in and like how much he wasn't worried about it and didn't want to repair and like how he used to sometimes need his inhaler, like, you know, like when we were doing it and stuff. Anyhow, um, and I just needed to know he was alright, and he's fine, He's and he's not changed a bit. Um, he's mad at me, he's mad at me for, because <laughs> he watches these, of course. I think it's like all 25 of my viewers are probably guys I used to sleep with, I don't think anybody else is watching these, but whatever, it helps me, so screw it. Um... Anyway, he wants me to have some corrections, but before I go over the corrections or the full disclosure, um, I want to talk about why it ended up being a healthy thing for me, even though it was, it was a little rocky, a little unpleasant. It wasn't like it would have been before. I wasn't like, I wasn't destroyed, you know, by the fact that he hasn't suddenly fallen in love with me. Um, whereas in the past that would have just... I, I would not be functional right now. This is all from the bong. I haven't even been crying or anything. So it was pretty cool. Um, but it, it was good because it was like I finally understood why we don't work, you know? Because as much as I love him, and I mean, I think he has a little bit of love for me. He doesn't have a lot of bit of love for me. He doesn't have love for all of me, you know? He loves fun Haley and stage Haley, you know? Um, and naked Haley. But, you know, not this Haley, not <laughs> not feelings Haley, not crying Haley, not crisis Haley. Um, definitely not panic attack Haley. Um, yeah, and I, I definitely deserve someone that appreciates the whole of me, you know? Not just parts of me. Because and that's sort of like what was the the big issue in our relationship besides just not wanting similar things at all was you know he'd always be like mad and tough love me when I'd be having issues and he'd be like having an episode or whatever but he wouldn't say that until like way later he would just disappear which m my main issue is abandonment um, but he wants me to tell you guys that I got him fired from a job that he really really liked I did that it was a shitty thing to do um, and I don't feel as bad about it as I should yet, if I'm honest. I still don't. I tried to undo it. I feel bad that he feels bad. You know, I feel really bad that he still feels bad about it. Um, he really liked that job. He was very well respected there and it was, it was a shitty thing I did. Um, he had like taken literally like garbage from the warehouse and like cobbled it together to make something nice for me. And I emailed him and said that he stole from them. Because I was having a horrible, horrible panic attack. <sighs> and I also sent him like a bunch of warnings saying that I was going to do it or whatever. I'm actually still kind of shocked that I followed through on it. Because I do that when I'm 
having a f horrible fucking panic attack. I make wild threats and I don't generally follow through on them, but I guess that one was sort of like, I don't know, it was literally just sending an email. So it wasn't, it didn't seem that bad at the time, like not bad enough to stop me from actually doing it. Cause usually I'm like, I'm going to come over there or whatever. Or yeah. By the way, if anyone's ever told you a story about me being totally crazy and saying something totally crazy, there's a decent chance that it's true. Although I'll have to say most of the people that I've done that to care about me enough that they don't go around telling people. So I guess it's like 50-50, you know? Um, but yeah, I, I can be really fucking verbally abusive. Although I will say with my big ex, um, I did kind of... I don't want to say like... Um, like I guess I chest bumped him one time. It's like Christmas time, and uh, we were like arguing in my driveway, and I totally bumped him with my chest. Um, yeah, I can be pretty shitty. I've done some really shitty things to my son's father. You know, that's a big reason why I needed to do this, why I needed to get better, you know? It's really hard to like yourself when you go to like this weird dark place where you know people talk about seeing red I never saw red I would just be you ever see like Silence of the Lambs and the chick just stands there in the hole well, let me tell you what in real life you would not just stand there in the hole you, <laughs> you would do you would continually do anything you could to get out until you died like you would not just stand there like I hope somebody comes and gets me um, and when I'm having a panic attack, that's what it's like. It's like crazy darkness and I have them clawing my way out trying to get some kind of, and usually I can f like see like ways I can get out, but you know, I have to make them happen somehow and I'm like fucking pick up the fucking phone or I'm going to fucking rip your face off. It's not cute. It's not cute. Um. Actually, when I checked myself into the hospital last time to try and get more treatment, when I got out, I had to go turn myself in because he had reported my text messages as harassment, and they wouldn't let him just drop the charges. Like, I had to go in and get handcuffed and, like, stand around in a cell, and it was fucking horrific and horribly traumatic. Um, and I think he's fairly regretful of that, um, there was a lot of shit, we did, it was horrible, we did horrible, horrible things to each other, um, but yeah, and now I understand why, because, yeah, I wasn't wrong, I think he does have some love for me, and I definitely love him, but we don't love all of each other, you know, he does not like the part of me that wants to go to build a bear, and I do not like the part of him that wants to handcuff me to a bed and let a stranger fuck me, so... You know, it just isn't going to work out. And that's alright. And so I'm alright. See how that works? Just have to actually deal with it. Actually be honest with yourself. And he's right. And I'm glad that he was like, hey, you should say that you're fucked up. And it's true. I'm fucked up. I'm, I haven't done it in a while, though. I've been super good. Oh, that was the other thing I wanted to say. This is getting really long. Um, I've been doing really well for a while now, actually. Um, and not... Like, even the last dude I, like, went off on, I didn't go, my hair looks so weird because, like, the blue is coming out. It's a little bit blue still. Um, I didn't go a whole hog, you know, I didn't really flip the fuck out on him. What is that? Am I getting fucking eczema now on top of everything else? Fucking apocalypse, man. Um, and I've also been really good about, like, not fucking around, like, just walking away. You know, the last couple guys that I talked to, you know, they, I did the Maya Angelou method this time when they showed me who they were. Instead of, like, forcing them to take, like, 60 more chances, like, do better, do better. I was just like, no, I'm not doing this. This is dumb. One, I was even like, he was like, can we just talk? And I was like, you know what? No. I don't, I don't want to talk to you anymore. I'm done with this. You're a bad risk. One dude definitely was just trying to get nudes. I'm like, you're not a good liar, dude. But yeah, you know, I'm eating jelly beans. I'm doing okay. I'm fucking eczema. I need a shower. I need some sleep. 
seriously going to do a DBT video tomorrow. I have like four rescue methods I want to go over with you guys. It's going to be super fun, I swear. Oh.